Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is Good Preet from Dataverse Canvas and I'm back again with another tutorial where we are gonna learn about data densification. Well, data densification is a technique which allows us to artificially create additional points between two existing points, making the data more dense. Well, this technique is widely used these days and you might have seen a lot of different dashboards on Tap Republic, Profile and other places where we are using different shapes, using mathematical functions and trigonometrical functions like circles or any other shapes which you might have studied in high school. So all of these shapes can be created using data densification techniques. In this techniques, we will be mainly using two things. The first is the bins, which are nothing but the buckets which we can define by creating the size between artificially created points. We can set it up and define that in that section, which I will show you in a second. And the second is the index function. So we'll be using these two things mainly to densify the data. So without any further delays, let's get started. As you can see in this Excel spreadsheet, I have created a path field with value one and 360. So these are the two points which are already there and we will be artificially creating multiple points between these two points. So you can either select this section and paste it in Tableau desktop directly, or you can use this as a Excel data source and import it directly into Tableau data source. So in this case, I have already brought this Excel spreadsheet in as a data source. And you will see here this path field, which has nothing but the two points, which is one and 360. So first of all, we will create a bin by right clicking on this field and go to create and create bins. This will ask you for the size of the bin. So in this case, I will select it as 10, which means that between point one and 360, it will create multiple points with an interval of 10. So let's click OK. And then we will create a index calculation and we will create an index function and just click OK. So let's see first. So I will bring the path pin which we created into Rochelle and you will see we have the points from 0 to 360 with an interval of 10. But if you bring the path field into the text mark shelf and you will see there are only 2.1 and 360 which are the actual original points and we have densified it with additional points as you can see here with an interval of 10 to um, with an interval of 10 so it's showing it from 0 to 360. Now let's bring the index into the text shelf as well and you will see it is showing the index value for each of these rows, each of these points, and it shows the total of 37 points. So let's let's remove the sum of path from the text shelf, and you will see there are 37 points. And let's say if we want to in reduce the interval of the bin, so we can just go and click on the bin and edit the calculation, and let's say I want the interval of 5. So you change the size of bin to 5 and click OK you will see the points are increased from 37. Now it's showing 73 points. So we have artificially created 71 points because we already had two points. So we have artificially created 71 points. And if you want to create additional points with an interval just of one, so it will create total of 360 values. You can see it's 358 points created artificially. So that's how we create these um, points artificially by using bins and index. And let's see how we can use this in creating different shapes. So let's bring the index in the column shell and let's bring path in here as well. And I want to bring the path pin here in the row shell and let's make sure we are showing all the missing values. So now you can see we have all the missing values till 360. And I will move it into detail shell. And let's change it into line. And let me remove this first. And let's right click on the index calculation and say compute using path pen. And you will see we got a line created and each of that has all these points created on this line. 
which is artificially created. So it's like from 0 to 360, we have created a line. So that way, like you can play around with it, increase the size, and you can see the use this in a curved uh, bar chart. So you can use in different ways. But you can see here, each of these points are plotted on this bar or line, you can say. Now, let's say we want to create a sine curve, right? Using data densification technique. So for that, first of all, we will create a coordinate for x-axis and we will simply use sine function and we will use it in radians. So you can use it in degrees as well, but in this case, we'll be using it in radians and then we will give the index value. So that's our x-axis. We click OK on that and we bring the x-axis onto the row shelf and index onto the column shell and we will bring the path bent to the detail shell you will see nothing happened right this is because we have to use index function compute using path pen and same way for x-axis we'll be using it using path pen and we'll be using it as a line but that means it's a straight line this is happening because the path pin value, we are not showing the missing value. So in order to do that, let's drag it to the row shelf and make sure show missing value is there. Now we did that and we bring that back to the detail shelf and you see, here you go. The sign curve is created and all the points here are showing which are artificially created. So the sign curve is there. So you can use this to join it with your existing data and make different shapes. So the same way we can go to another sheet and create a circle shape, right? For that, we need two coordinates, X and Y. So we have already created X coordinate. So let's go and create a Y coordinate, which will be similar to existing word, but here we'll be using cos function for, and we'll be using radians again for index. So we have created Y function as well. So we will y coordinate i mean so we will bring x coordinate into column shelf y coordinate into row shelf path pen before i move into detail shelf i will just double check if we are showing missing values we're bringing to the detail shelf and we will select individual coordinate and select path pen for compute using by path pen and you will see nothing happened here it's not a circle yet we have to do the same thing for y coordinate by selecting compute using and path pen here you go you can see a circle created now and here we have selected a shape of circle so you can change it either by line and you will see here when you change it to line it messes up because tablet doesn't understand how to join these paths so in that case you will bring the path pen to the path shelf and here you go the circle is created with all the 360 points so that's how you can use this data densification technique to create different shapes by simply densifying the data by artificially creating different points between two existing points so similarly you can use this data set and join it with your existing data set to create artificially to artificially create points between the existing points in the data set and then you can give the shape whatever you want you can create a radial chart circle of coxcomb chart or any other charts by using these techniques i hope you guys enjoyed this session and stay tuned for more session where i will be using this technique to create really cool infographics and visualization thanks see you soon